One of the very common questions that everyone is asking is, what do I need to be doing in Wedding Wave every single day? One of the most obvious answers is obviously your daily quest. These reset on 2 a.m. PST if you're playing on the NA server. But if you're playing on other server, there's a reset timer at the very top. So make sure you do these every day. They give you a bunch of reward. Importantly, they give you Asteroid and they give you a bunch of Union EXP. They give you 2,000 Union EXP on top of 60 asteroid every day. So make sure you do them. Spending your energy is obviously extremely important as well. You get exactly 240 energy a day, and there's a timer that tells you how long it'll take to recover to full. So make sure you spend your energy. If you're not sure what to spend, I have an energy guide out there. If you open your menu and you click the Pinner broadcast, this is your battle pass. And here you're gonna get daily mission as well as weekly mission, as well as seasonal mission that will gift you these EXP. And this is how you would level up your battle pass. And you are very simple. Again, they are just like do your wave play, do your daily, log into the game. Very simple, but just make sure to come in and claim it. The battle pass gives you extremely good reward, even if you're on the free to play channel. It gives you straight up lustrous tie, or if you have to pay battle pass, it gives you radiant tie. The pay battle pass also come with a special battle pass weapon, which I'll later make a video on on the best one to pick. But the short answer is that Autumn Trace is best one by far. So if you're playing Kalcharo, if you're playing Gion, this will be a really, really good weapon. Now the battle pass only go up to level 70. And once you're done, you don't have to do it anymore. So here you can see I have it maxed out already. And if I do the mission, you actually don't really get anything. So once you're done with the battle pass, you can skip over all of these parts. But for now, make sure you come in and do your weekly and do your daily. Shop in Wedding Wave actually reset. So for example, coming into the pharmacy, clicking on the poppy, you can see that I can only buy up to 15 at a time. But there's a reset timer at the bottom left of the screen, which tell you when it restocks. So make sure you are buying these out if you need them every single week. However, be very careful when you're buying something like the basic revival inhaler. There's no limit on this and you can just accidentally spend all your money I have made this massive mistake before. Do not make the mistake. Speaking of weekly, doing your weekly bosses is extremely important. And you can find your weekly bosses under the third tab in your guidebook coming down to weekly challenge. There are three weekly bosses in the game. There is Scar, the Turtle, and then finally Dreamless once you do unlock it. Each of these costs 60 energy to claim, but very importantly is that they give you a very specific reward, which is the weekly boss material. And it's very important that you save your energy to do these because they are extremely limited due to the fact that you can only collect them three times a week. Now, obviously a very important question that all of you are asking right now, other than subscribing to the channel, is that which boss to pick? Well, so these materials are actually used to level up your skills on the highest level. So you'll be able to see, for example, the two middle inherent skills require this specific material, which again, come from the boss. These are very specific depending on their characters. So for example, on Verena, I'll need the belt, but on Danji, I'll need the material from Dreamless. So it's highly recommended that you click on the characters you're currently planning on leveling, whether that be Danji, whether that be Rover. You click on it and you see what material you need and from which boss, and you just go and farm it. You're gonna need this very specific material for the two node in the middle as well as all the top node at the top. So make sure you plan it out and make sure to think about which character you're currently actively leveling on. For example, my main DPS is gonna be Danji right now. So I'm gonna farm Dreamless twice to get two feathers, which will let me get these two skill notes. In addition, I also want this note here for Verena because this is one of the best skill in the entire game. So I'm gonna do a turtle run as well to get the belt. Now, it's highly recommended that you wait until Sunday to do it. This is because you can potentially get higher union level and unlock the higher level bosses, which give you better material. For example, you can see the level 50 boss only give me this blue material, while the level 60 boss unlock at union level 30 give me this purple material instead. So if I think I can hit union level 30 by Sunday, it's better for me to wait and save my chances and then just do it on Sunday when I'm on the highest level. Now, if you have time, you want to try to kill the enemy in this game to get their material drop since all of them respawn at the end of the day. But the most important enemy that you should try to kill every single day are going to be the elite enemy. So there's an elite class enemy that are spawned in extremely limited quantity and they only respawn once a day. So if possible, you want to make sure that you hit the detect button, go ahead and kill every single one of them if possible. It is extremely hard to find free class elite with good start on them. So that's why you really want to be collecting every single one of them every single day. 
the ideal stat that you want is going to be the main stat with the corresponding element to your damage dealer. So for example, I'm playing Danji right now. So you really want to put a free cost elite with the same element as Danji, in this case, Havoc Damage Bonus. But even then, you still have to roll for the substat. And the ideal substat are something like Attack Percent, Crit Damage, and stuff like that. And once you level them to level 25, you'll be able to see all five substat. So in this case, this one is actually pretty bad because there are free lines that I don't really need. I don't really need HP. I don't really need defense, so this is not a very good echo, for example. Obviously, if you have time, you should just be killing every single monster in the game because they can drop echo, they can drop really valuable material. But I understand that this takes a long time, so maybe you can leave this as your last priority. Making sure that you're harvesting ore every single day is really important. You need a massive amount of them to craft any 4-star weapon, which is very useful if you're a free-to-play player. If we don't know how to craft a 4-star weapon, basically there's a weapon crafter located in town right here. You can just come up and walk up to it, and there's a lot of weapons you can craft. Again, you need 150 ore, and it takes a long time to collect these, so make sure that you're not collecting them on respawn, because they do respawn over time. If you don't know where the ores are, there's an interactive map that displays every single ore location in the game, and it could be very, very useful for you to find. This is a very short, what do I need to be doing checklist video, so if you find this helpful, subscribe to the channel. I'll be streaming on Twitch right now, so check out the link by 